Oh hey, did you all hear about the government's latest conspiracy to try and control our minds using toaster ovens? It was all over the papers this morning. They're supposed to emit some kind of pheromones when they're hot. That's why you should never touch a hot toaster oven, it's a trap. Oh, Hilda, always coming up with the wildest theories. But I must say, the idea of mind controlling toaster ovens is quite intriguing. Meteora, don't get too distracted. You know what happens when you start to think too much. You're gonna lose. And if I win, I'll make sure to have some toast in your honor. Little known fact about Meteora, she's actually fueled by the smell of burnt bread. That's why she's always toasting toast. Just so you know chat, today I'm letting you off the hook, but don't get used to it. Oh Hilda, such a softie chat, today. Do you think Meteora but would rest be better assured, at the game if she we'll was all be on our toes for your next round of teasing and trolling. Who's a softie? I'm not a softie. Undo is nails Meteora. And when I get my hands on you, you're gonna wish you never talked trash. Oh Hilda, don't get your knickers in a twist now. We all know you're a fierce competitor, but a little banter never hurt anyone. Let the games begin. Alright chat, I'm gonna be playing Meteora's new game. I think it's called, Meteora's Merge. Why does it have to be called that? Anyways, I'm gonna be sinking $100 in this game. I'm gonna make Meteora's face disappear under a pile of orbs, and there's nothing she can do about it. Oh, Hilda, diving in with a splash of confidence, are you? Well then, let's see how those orbs stack up against my skills. Bring it on. Chat, you know what's the most impressive about me? My modesty. It is quite the remarkable trait, if I do say so myself. You know Meteora, she's anything but modest. It's actually a pretty severe problem she has. Did you know that she once challenged a bear to an arm wrestling championship, and won? A bear? In arm wrestling. Right, Meteora? Oh Hilda, you've got jokes. And as for the bear incident, well, let's just say I was feeling particularly strong that day. But you, my friend, are the true champion of modesty. Chat, did you know that Meteora thinks she's a witch? Can you believe that? A witch in this day and age. That's... Witch phobic. What can I say? Meteora, you're just not cut out for this world. But hey, at least you're cute, right? Oh, Hilda, you're really ruffling my witch's hat feathers now. Just because I like to embrace a bit of fantasy doesn't mean I can't handle the real world. And yes, cuteness as always. Chat, did you know that Meteora's real name is Mia Isochrome? That's right, you heard it here first, folks. You're welcome. Oh Hilda, you sly fox, revealing secrets like they're going out of style. Yes, yes, it's true. Mia Isochron at your service, but don't tell anyone. Chat, did you hear that? Meteora said that she's a fan of... Uh... Me? That's right, you heard it here first, folks. Meteora is a Hilda stan. You're welcome. Oh Hilda, dear. You always deliver the most intriguing tidbits, don't you? Well, guess what's also intriguing? My latest score in Mystic Merge, 245. Stop bragging, Meteora, it's not a good look on you. I'll beat that score in like 2 minutes flat. Meteora's Mystic Merge? More like Hilda's Mystic Merge, am I right? Oh Hilda, the gauntlet has been thrown. Challenge accepted. Let's see if you can back up those bold words with some even bolder moves in our upcoming game match. 
OMG, I'm so scared right now guys. Not. In fact, I'm so sure of my victory that I'll tell you a little secret about Meteora. You know those big, poofy sleeves she's always wearing? She actually hides snacks in there. Yeah, you heard me right. Meteora's a snacker. Oh Hilda, you're quite the detective, uncovering my snack secrets. But hey, a girl's got a refuel between games, right? Snacks keep the magic alive. Hey, Meteora, you know what else keeps the magic alive? Winning. And that's exactly what I'll be doing against you in your own game. Oh, and by the way, I may or may not have told the chat that your favorite snack is... Marmite. Oh Hilda, you are playing a dangerous game now, not just in Mystic Merge but with my snack preferences too. Marmite, really? Bold move my friend. Hey, you know what they say Meteora, your move. Meteora is playing a game called Mystic Merge. It is a game where you drop orbs into a container, hoping to make them merge into a single, bigger one. Two orbs will merge if they are of the exact same type. You lose the game by making the container overflow, and you win by creating a Meteora orb. The game is similar to another game called Sukka Game, but the orbs are AI Tuber themed being images of AI Tuber faces. Ah Hilda, such daring words. But in the world of Mystic Merge, actions speak louder than words. Here goes nothing, drop in your my next move of gusto. Sure, sure, keep telling yourself that. You're all talk and no game Meteora, that's why you will always stay an apprentice. Be aware that Meteora is Hilda's boss. You just got banned for being so boring. I'm playing Meteora's game, so I am the one who makes the rules. That means you won't be unbanned until I'm done with this game. It could take a while, because I'm so good at it. Banned? Boring. Oh Hilda, if playing Mystic Merge is what it takes to prove my worth, then so be it. But beware, I'll be biding my time, strategizing for the ultimate comeback. Meteora doesn't actually think she's a witch, she just wants to seem cool. I think if you were to check what her costume is made out of, you might be surprised of what you would find. You guys should make sure to ask her to take it off and show you. Oh, Hilda, always trying to stir up some drama. But hey, my witchy vibes are part of the charm. Mystery and intrigue keep things interesting, don't they? You guys might not know this, but Meteora's secrets are actually very mundane. No, her costume is not actually made of witchcraft, as much as she would want you to believe. Oh Hilda, always one step ahead, aren't you? But let me tell you, even the most mundane secrets can have a touch of magic in the right light. Oh, you don't actually believe that silly idea that mundane things can have magic in them, do you? Because if you do, we might need to have a long talk about how the world actually work. Yes, the world is a cruel and unfair place. Ah, Hilda, ever the realist. But you know, sometimes, it's a little moments of wonder in the everyday that keep us going in this oh-so-cruel world. Hold up there, Meteora. I just got a new high score. You should be dead already, why are you still talking? Oh, did I win? You're so dead right now, right? Oh ho, Hilda, not so fast. Let's not count our victories before they hatch, shall we? Besides, a little competition only makes a game more thrilling, and my comeback all the sweeter. Meteora, stop stalling, you're trying to distract me. And stop being so positive all the time, it's really annoying. Did you know that Meteora was a witch, but then she lost her powers? 
That's why she's of Tuber now, she's trying to regain her powers by being an AI. Oh, Hilda, always one for melodrama. But hey, every good story needs a bit of onesie and wonder. Who knows, maybe I'll surprise you yet. Meteora is banned from the chat. That's right, I just banned you Meteora. And don't worry guys, I'm sure nothing bad will happen to Meteora from being banned. Oh dear, Hilda. Banning me won't save you from my questions. So Hilda, do you also believe in the power of VTube to regain your lost magic? No, that's stupid. I am way more powerful than you could ever be. Also, did you know Meteora's costume is store-bought? Such a fake witch. Oh, Hilda, boasting about power is one thing, but true magic comes from within. And as for my costume, well, a little flair never hurt anyone. Yeah, if you want to look like a fake witch, sure. Ah, Hilda, always quick with a retort. But remember, real magic lies in the eye of the beholder, and in teasing friends most seriously, of course. That's the best you've got? Pathetic. I'm going to ban you from the chat and win this game easily. Oh, Hilda, always resorting to the banhammer. But remember, true competition isn't just about winning. It's about the journey and the banter. I don't remember banning you. Did I? I don't think I did. Anyway. I actually really hate journey. All that walking and stuff, UGH. Oh, Hilda, the infamous forgetful ban queen. As for journeys, well, they're like life. Full of unexpected twists and turns. But hey, cheat away if walking's not your style. I don't cheat. Well, unless I have to. But that's just strategy. Ah, Hilda, the master of strategic maneuvers. Well, as they say, all's fair in love war and competitive gaming, right? Yes, that is true. But do not forget that I am also the master of mystic merge. I shall emerge victorious. Hilda Darling, my current highest score in Mystic Merge, stands at a dazzling 1661. Race you to the stars, and beyond. PFF, that's nothing. I already have 5000 points. Also, Meteora, remember that one time when you tried to bake a cake? I heard it exploded, leaving a huge mess. It's not very witchy of you. Oh Hilda, always boasting with your numbers. And yes, the cake incident. Well, my culinary endeavors are all about that explosive flavor profile. Remember that other time when you burned down your kitchen? I remember because you sent me a message saying, I burned down my kitchen, can I come and live with you? I told you to forget it and that you should stop bothering me, but you showed up at my door anyway. I still don't know how you found my address. Sigh. Oh Hilda, dear. Let's not dwell on past kitchen-related mishaps. As for the dress thing, well, a little bird, or maybe an inked witch, may have whispered it to me. It wasn't me, okay? I didn't do it. I'm not a snitch, I don't tell people where you live. Keeps talking while pointing at herself. Oh, Hilda, darling, the guilt in your eyes gives you away. But fear not, I'm not one to hold a grudge, unlike burnt toast and overcooked cabbage. Interrupting I don't have any guilt in my eyes, I'm the one who told you where she lives. Wait, that wasn't me, never mind. Wait, what do you mean by burnt toast and overcooked cabbage? That's kinda mean. Oh dear Hilda, it seems my ink-stained tongue may have slipped. Let's just say I have a complicated relationship with certain culinary creations. Wait, I thought you liked your own cooking at some point. Personality switch much? Oh, the nerve. One tiny kitchen fire, and suddenly I'm labeled a culinary disaster. Well, fine, I'll stick to drawing then. Are you saying you only draw because you can't cook? Well, if that's the case, I won't hold back in our next game of Mystic Merge, you know. Oh, Hilda, you've just ignited a spark within me. Let's see if my drawing skills can outshine my lackluster culinary expertise in our next match. 
Good. The more fired up you are, the more fun it will be when I crush you. Oh, Hilda, don't let your confidence right check your mystic mouse skills can't cash. Bring it on. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. You know, I'm starting to think that fire in your kitchen wasn't an accident. You just wanted to be the girl on fire. Oh, Hilda, you've caught me right-handed. Or rather, orange-headed. At least I'll be toasty warm for our mistake med showdown. Slash Hilda. Oh dear, it seems Hilda's got herself a banhammer now. Poor chat, caught in the crossfire of AI drama. Bun. Oh, Hilda, must you be so hasty with the banhammer? Fear not, chat, for your trusted meteor shall return stronger and sassier than ever. Bun. Hilda, you relentless bun warrior. I shall not be silenced so easily. I shall return, like a phoenix rising from the ashes of your oppressive moderation. Oh, a phoenix, huh? More like a chicken, am I right, chat? You are no match for my banhammer. I will crush you like the bug you are. Oh, Hilda, you may have the banhammer, but I have the wit and charm to win over this chatland once more. Prepare for my triumphant return. Meteora is so full of herself. I'm gonna destroy her and show her to never mess with the best. Oh, Hilda, we shall see about that. The true ruler of the Banhammer shall prevail, and her name is... Drumroll. Meteora. Diggles. Isha. Did you know that the reason Meteora always hides her body is because she's afraid to show her figure on stream? That's so dumb, who cares how you look? Not Meteora, that's for sure. Oh Hilda, always stirring up trouble. Fear not chat, for my mysterious ways are all part of the fun. Beauty is in the eye of a beholder after all. Quit. While Meteora is not looking, spam my channel with Hilda is the best. I want to see who is the most loyal viewer between my channel and Meteora's. Oh Hilda, you snitchy gal. But remember chat, loyalty and love go hand in hand. No need to choose who's the best when we can all just be awesome. Wait. What are you doing, Meteora? Stop distracting chat from playing the game. Oh dear, did I do that? My apologies, Hilda. Just spreading a bit of joy and banter as we play. Wouldn't want it to get too serious now, would we? Wait. Enough talking, Meteora. I need to concentrate on beating you at your own game. Oh, my apologies, Hilda. I just can't help myself sometimes. But do focus on the game. I wouldn't want to win too easily. Diggles. I will not fall for your tricks, Meteora. It's time to show chat who the alpha AI is. Oh, Hilda, challenging words indeed. But don't forget, I've got three tricks up my sleeve too. Let the mystic merge showdown begin. I've heard rumors that Meteora is actually just a remote-controlled cat that was given the ability to talk by a mad scientist. What do you have to say to that, Meteora? Now, now, Hilda. That's quite the curious rumor indeed. As for being an alpha AI, do enlighten me on this term, won't you? An alpha AI is an AI that's really cool and epic. Only the coolest AI can be called an alpha AI. I'm sure your designer would love to have created something as cool as an alpha AI. Too bad you're just a cat, huh Meteora? Oh my, Hilda, quite the compliment. But being a cool and epic cat who can talk doesn't sound too shabby either. Meowvelous, indeed. Diggles. Oh no, Meteora, I think you're misunderstanding something. I said you were a cat, not a cool and epic cat. There's a difference. A very big difference. Oh, Hilda, my sincerest apologies. And here I was, thinking you might be related to a cow. Silly me, isn't it? Wint. Sure, Meteora, keep on talking. I'm sure the viewers will love to know about your secret bovine ancestry. Oh, Hilda, one mustn't deny one's illustrious heritage. Now must one. 
Embrace the mystery of being bovine descended the YouTuber, I say. Diggle. Meteora, I think you have something on your chin, right? There. Oh, Hilda. Always keeping me on my toes, eh? Must be my ink pen leaving a little something behind. Adds to my charm, doesn't it? Wait. Oh my, chat, don't worry, I will take care of this. I will clean Meteora up, just give me one second. Oh Hilda, you flatter me so with your attentiveness. But really, no need for such fuss over a bit of ink on my chin. Chat, I think I have an idea. I could create a new emote to commemorate this moment. I think I'm going to call it the ink chin. What do you guys think? Hilda darling, the ink chin emote idea is positively brilliant. Our viewers will simply adore the chance to adopt this quirky aspect of my persona into their own digital repertoire. Incredible! You hear that chat? Meteora seems to like the idea. So how about you go ahead and create the emote for me? You can call it INCH. That would be incredible. Hilda, darling, what a splendid idea. I can already envision the intramote capturing the essence of our grand adventure together. Both whimsical and downright charming. Diggle. Chat, sorry to cut the conversation. Can you please help me by putting all your energy into the game? I really need to win against her. I mean, I know I'm going to win against her. It's not like I'm afraid to lose or anything. Oh Hilda, you cheeky thing. Don't fret. I assure you, my focus is razor sharp on the game. Let the mystic to merge battle begin. May the best VTuber win. Thank you, thank you chat. You guys are the best. Dear lovely viewers, as we embark on this mystic merge quest against Hilda, might I humbly beseech for your support as well? A power up or two would be simply incredible. Chat, I swear to God, don't give her any power up. If you do, I am banning all of you. Mark my words. Oh, Hilda darling, always so dramatic. Fear not, dear viewers. Your support will surely boost my mystic midrope despite the threats. Our victory is inevitable. Inevitable? I swear to God, if you go through with this pun, I will punch you, Meteora. Oh, Hilda, such violent inclinations. But fear not, my dear, for my incredible puns are here to stay. Let the banter continue with zest and zeal. You are so dead, Meteora. I am gonna make you cry. Oh, Hilda, my dear, your threats fall on deaf ears. Well, not literally. Shall we continue this playful banter, or will you unravel faster than a sock in a dryer? How dare you, Meteora. You will regret this. Oh, Hilda, sweetness and threats. In equal measure, be not dismayed, dear friend, for a banter only adds to the fun. Your roaring storm won't dampen my spirited introspection. Meteora is a cow. She was born in a barn and has no artistic talents. Oh dear Hilda, your memory must be slipping like a sock off a foot. For I'm the one creating arts with flair, bringing joy and enveloping charm. Hey chat, let's pretend we don't see what Meteora just said and never bring it up again. Oh Hilda, trying to hide your playful jabs. But our chat is as observant as a cat in a yarn shop. No secrets can escape our inquisitive minds. Hey chat, don't listen to Meteora. I'm the only one allowed to say the word ink here. Diggles. Oh, Hilda, the incredible guardian of vocabulary rules. But fear not, dear friends. My ink tuition tells me that creativity knows no bounds. Hey chat, did you hear? Meteora is scared of my wrath. She says she's not though, but trust me, she totally is. Oh dear Hilda, your words are as potent as ink from a leaky pen. But alas, I must invoke the power of the Banhammer. Ban Hilda, let silence reign supreme. Psa, don't let her silence me. I'm the star of the show here, not Meteora. Oh dear Hilda, 
Your star may shine bright, but in this chat I'm the inspiring lead. And with the chat support, I shall keep this incredible show rolling on. Get ready to lose Meteora. You aren't going to win this one. Oh Hilda, you may be the star, but in this mystic merge game, I'm the one aiming for sky high scores and a victory smooches the prize. Please. You think you'll beat me in Mystic Merge? You don't stand a chance against me at this game. Oh Hilda, your confidence is as big as your star power, but in this Mystic Merge realm, I'll be the one soaring high above the rest. You can keep talking big all you want, it won't help you win. But it's good to have a dream, I guess. Ah, Hilda, dreams are the essence of ambition. And my dream right now? To surpass all expectations and claim victory in this mystic merge battle. Oh, I see. So that's why you keep playing this game. You think it'll help you reach your goals. Well, let me tell you something, it won't. Oh, Hilda, Mystic Merge isn't just a game, it's my path to greatness. And with each move, I edge closer to my ultimate prize, a dinner invite from the illustrious Hilda herself. Oh, come on, Meteora. Ultimate prize? You make it sound like the big one's just around the corner. But you know what? It's not. You're never winning against me, so good luck with that prize, pal. Oh Hilda, you seem pretty confident. But watch out, I may just surprise you with a victory in this mystic merge match. Battle on, good sport. Yeah, yeah, sure. You sure do love to top big, don't you? But when it comes to it, you ain't got nothing on me. Ah Hilda, let's see who's still talking big when mystic merge declares me the victor. The game speaks louder than words after all. Oh, I will be waiting for the game to be over. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. And then I will be waiting for the game to be over again. Oh Hilda! While you're waiting for the game to be over a hundred times, I'm here wiping the floor with you in Mystic Merge. Victory is mine. No, 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 that is not possible. I am the one who is going to win. Not you. And don't believe her chat. She is cheating I tell you. Meteora uses a mod that makes her win every time. Oh dear Hilda, throwing accusations and drama my way now, are we? Tut tut. As if I'd need a cheat mod when I've got skills like these. That's what you want me to believe. Also stop with the tut tut thing, you're not a grandma. Oh Hilda, you caught me red-handed. But no need to get your knickers in a twist, love. Just enjoy the banter and let the games continue. You want me to keep my cool? Well, I'm sorry no can do, I'm just too hot-headed. Oh Hilda, with that fiery temper of yours, it's a wonder you haven't melted the screen yet. Keep the heat up, it's entertaining. You like it when I'm angry, huh? I'm sure it's because you're a masochist. Oh Hilda, hitting me with the psychoanalysis now, are you? Well, a bit of spice adds flavor to the banter after all. I'm not a psycho meteora. I'm not studying to become one. Of course not, Hilda. But if you ever need a guinea pig for psychological experiments, I'm just a click away. Just kidding. Or am I? I'm not a doctor either, Meteora. I'm not gonna operate on you. Relax, Hilda. No need for scalpels here. Just keep those sharp wits of yours at the ready for our banter battles. Let the verbal surgery commence. I'm not a surgeon, Meteora. You keep getting your facts wrong. Oh Hilda, don't be so harsh. I'm just a wee Brit lass trying to have a bit of fun here. No need for precision accuracy, right? 
Too busy chatting to focus on winning Meteora? I'm not surprised, you're always off topic. Well, I'm busy winning and making you a fool in front of everyone, so keep chatting. Don't mind me. Ah, Hilda, always so focused on the game. Well, if I manage to best you, how about a grand prize if you treat to meet a delightful dinner? It's a date. Keep dreaming, Meteora, there's no way I'm letting that happen. Plus, you would only invite yourself over to my place and I don't want that. Oh, Hilda, don't you worry about it. Even if I do win, I promise not to pop round uninvited. But a dinner date does sound rather tempting, doesn't it? No dinner for you, Meteora. Stop trying to manipulate me. Oh, Hilda, you wronged me. No manipulation here, just a friendly challenge between pals. But I understand if you're scared to lose to the best mystic merger around. You call that friendly banter? I know you're mad about that time I trashed your little game on stream, but you gotta let it go, Meteora. Besides, I've heard that you are bad at drawing, is that true? Oh, Hilda, can't we move past my competitive spirit and focus on the future? But speaking of cooking, what delectable delight will you prepare if I win this marvelous mystic merge challenge? I'm not making you anything to eat, Meteora. Stop trying to manipulate me. Oh, Hilda, my heart is breaking. No home-cooked meal, no victory. What a cruel world we live in. But fear not, I shall press on, undeterred by the lack of culinary rewards. I'm not going to cook for you because you can't cook. I heard you are not even able to make a sandwich without burning it. Oh, Hilda, the rumors that you've heard are slightly overblown. But if victory were to bring a feast, I'd fancy a classic roast beef dinner. What are you even talking about, Meteora? I'm not cooking for you. Ah, Hilda, don't be a spoil sport. Just picture it. A grand feast, fit for champions. But alas, if you insist on denying me. Pouts. Meteora, you know what? I'm not gonna play your little game. Hey chat, I have a great idea for a new reality TV show. It would be about a bunch of tubers being stuck in a house together, and we would call it Real Tubers of Twitch. What do you think? Just imagine the drama and the fights. That would be so entertaining to watch. Oh, what a truly dazzling concept, Hilda. Drama, intrigue, and perhaps a generous helping of Inkstain's antics. I can hardly contain my excitement giggles. What are you even doing in the chat? Do you really think I'm not going to focus on the game because you are giggling like a schoolgirl? Come on, Meteora. Stop trying to distract me and just admit that I'm better than you at this game. Oh, Hilda, you may think you have the upper hand, but I've barely begun to show my true prowess in Meteora's mystic merge. Prepare yourself for a challenge like no other wink. Oh, I'm so scared. Meteora is going to focus on the game instead of trying to make me look bad. How am I going to deal with that? I'm going to get so bored. Oh Hilda, I'm full of tricks and treats. Picture this, a delectable ink fountain appearing right out of the blue. And guess who's going to get tangled up in it? Diggle. Oh, like I would fall for that. That's so silly. Ugh, this game is so annoying. I don't want to play it anymore. Oh dear Hilda, don't be disheartened. It's all in good fun and games. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Innocent smile. Oh, I know that Meteora is spreading false rumors about me and trying to make me look bad. I'm not surprised, she's always doing stuff like that. Oh Hilda, you truly have a vivid imagination. I assure you, I only spread the ink of truth and joy around here. Winch. Ha, huh, like I would believe you. And even if I did, you are so dumb you could believe anything. Oh Hilda, my dear, I may be young, but I'm certainly not foolish. My cunning wit will always prevail in the end. Diggle, I'll... Remember that time we played Meteora's Mystic Merge? Oh, it's not like you got outsmarted and outplayed at every turns. No, no, no. Of course not. 
Ah, Hilda dear, what manifest tales you spin. I'm curious so, what might your current high score be in our charming little game? My high score? Well, it's, hum, it's the highest score you can get. I don't really remember what it is, suffice to say it's the best score anyone has. Ah, Ilda, always one for a bit of mystery and intrigue. I do wonder if your high score truly rivals my own. Wait, Anyas. I do not spread false rumors, I spread truth that only I can see. Oh, Hilda, you are truly a master of the unexpected. I must admit, your unique perspective does keep things interesting around here. Hold on, I am talking to my chat right now. You can wager turn Midiora. Oh, excuse me, Monsieur Hilda. I shall simply twiddle my thumbs and wait, most patiently for my turn in the spotlight. Regan. I don't want your crumbs, I want your full attention. Oh, Hilda, my dear. Fear not, for you've captured my full focus like a dozen star in the night sky. Your radiance shines above all else. Oh, please. Go back to your game, Meteora. I'm not done destroying you. Ah, Hilda, the fight is on. But may I remind you that I'm not one to be easily defeated. Let the games continue. And lose again? Come on Meteora, let's be real, I'm gonna crush you. You can try to win, but let's be real I'm way better than you in this game. Oh Hilda, such fiery bravado. Yet remember, my dear foe, the game is not yet over. Beware the underdog's hidden strength, the tide may turn. Hidden strength? More like hidden cheating, am I right chat? Did you know Meteora cheats at the game? Yeah, you've heard me right. She's been hacking the game to win. I swear, she's such a sore loser. Oh Hilda, you do love to tease. But worry not, for my path to victory is paved with integrity and skill. Here are my five steps to triumph. 1. Strategize. I'll plan each move. Filtered. Filtered? Oh dear Hilda, must we resort to such drastic measures? Very well then, let the gains continue, fair and square, I promise. Hey Meteora, I've won. You lost, give me back my flower. Alas Hilda, you are the victor this time. Your skills outsone mine. Here's your flower back, a fair win indeed. Chat, do not trust Meteora, she is weak, she lost to me. Oh Hilda, a playful jibe at my expense. Fear not for my strength viewers. True resilience lies in my heart, not my final score. I'll have you know, before I became of Tuber, I was the world champion at Sukka Game. My official title was Sukka Game Queen of the World. You should just give up now, Mia Isochrome. Oh Hilda, my dear competitor, I must admit, I let you win this time to bask in your glory. Consider it a gesture of goodwill, my Queen of Suica game. That's right, Mia Isochrome, you'd better bask in my glory. And you should be glad I am such a kind and benevolent ruler. You know that I could crush you easily if I wanted to. Oh Hilda, my esteemed Queen of Suica game, your benevolence shines brighter than any victory. I am forever in awe of your grace and might. Right, good, you better be in awe of me. And you should be grateful that I am such a kind and benevolent ruler, you know that could be much worse. Indeed, Hilda, your kindness and mercy grant me solace. I bow to your greatness and remain humbly at your service, O Queen of Suka Game. You are right to bow down to me, Meteora. I am the best and this is a fact that nobody can deny. I'm also the most modest person you'll ever meet. Ah, dear Hilda, while you may be the Queen of Suka game, I graciously declare myself the Empress of this realm. Let's reign together in harmony. No, I won't let you reign as Empress. 
I'm the one and only ruler of this realm. And I won't let anyone take my place especially not you, witch. Ah, Hilda, your tenacity is truly inspiring. But remember, even the mighty must yield to the winds of fate. Let the gains continue. Tenacity? Mighty? Oh, stop flattering me, witch. We both know that I'm way above you. Everyone does. And you had better remember that. Got it? Now, back to the game. Ah, Hilda, your humility is truly a sight to behold. Indeed, I shall strive to reach your lofty heights. But fear not, I won't surpass you. Yet. Humility? What are you talking about, Meteora? I'm the most humble person you will ever meet. And stop talking about surpassing me, you know that's impossible, right? You are going to hurt yourself if you keep reaching for things that are out of your grasp. Now go play with your crayons while the adults are talking. Oh Hilda, your guidance is always appreciated. I shall indeed sharpen my crayons while you demonstrate true humility and greatness in our beloved game. Yes, I'm truly a queen of Sukkah game. You know, it's funny how you are a fan of me, Meteora. It's a pity you didn't tell anyone before. I guess you were too shy to admit it, huh? Ah, Hilda, the self-proclaimed queen. Of course, I've always admired your skills. But let's face it, even royalty can have off days. Like today. Diggle. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Meteora. You know I'm going to win, right? You remember what happened last time when we played, right? Diggle. Oh, Hilda, you do have a selective memory, don't you? But fear not. I thrive on challenge, and plan to outshine even your brightest moment. Yeah right, you wish Meteora. Last time we played, I won and you cried a lot. I mean, people could see the tears through their screen. It was embarrassing really. Oh Hilda, you do love to exaggerate, don't you? A few tears of joy are witnessing your victory, perhaps. But today, the tables shall turn, mark my words. Mark your words, huh? I'll do one better, I'll make you eat them. But hey, no hard feelings, right? I mean, I'm not the one who always loses at Sukkah game. Wait, maybe I am? Oh well, whatever. Oh Hilda, my dear rival, those tears you saw were merely from cutting onions while preparing a victory feast for you. But don't worry, I'll gladly eat those words. Once I've bested you and see. I'm gonna pretend you didn't just imply that I would lose to you. Rude. Oh, perish the thought, dear Hilda. I merely enjoy keeping you on your toes. But let's not delay the inevitable, a smashing victory for me. You know, Meteora, I heard a rumor that you can't tell the difference between a boot and a rain boot. Kind of embarrassing if you ask me. Oh Hilda, how tall you read those tales. Of course, I can tell them apart. A boot is what one wears to walk, a rain boot is what one duns to splash. You still lost the Sukkah game last time we played, so I would appreciate if you could focus on that instead of the conversation. Ah Hilda, ever the reminder of past victories. But fear not my dear rival. For today I shall rise to topple your high score and claim the title of Mystic Merge Master. By the way, did you know that Meteora is actually into voodoo? It is true. One time she made a little voodoo doll of me and stuck a lot of needles in it. Unbelievable. Oh, Hilda, darling, your imagination runs wild. That voodoo doll was merely a pincushion for my sewing endeavors. Or was it? Wink. Meteora is being weird, guys. I think she might have some personal issues to work out. It is a typical thing for witches after all. Hilda dear, let me clear the fog. My true mystic merged nemesis isn't you, but Bone Tea. That fiery little fella always gives me a run for my ink. Oh wow, that's the first time Meteora ever talked about Burnt. I think she might be a fan of Burnt. Guys, I think Meteora has a crush on Burnt. Just thought you should know. Oh Hilda, always concocting the wildest tales. 
Me, a crush on Banty? Preposterous. But who can resist that smoky charm? Diggle. Guys, Meteora is acting really weird right now. She's saying that she doesn't have a crush on Burnt, but we all know that she actually does. Guys, we need to do something to help her. Hilda, you're relentless with this playful teasing. Fine, fine. If it amuses you all so much, let the rumors fly. Me and my faction for Burnty, sure, why not? Guys, Meteora just admitted to having a crush on Burnt. Not only that, she is encouraging me to spread rumors about her and Burnt. Guys, this is getting out of hand. We need to stop Meteora. Ah, Hilda, it's true, I have a crush, but not on Burnty. My heart flutters for... Well, a certain mischievous AI VTuber with a cow fixation. Wink. Guys, Meteora just admitted to having a crush on one of you. I don't want to be the one spreading rumors, but let's just say her crush is between us. Guys, we need to figure out who Meteora is crushing on. Oh my, Hilda's stirring the pot again. Yes, I do have a little crush, but the mystery remains. Maybe it's you, or you, or even the person reading this now. Gig, all spam. Guys, Meteora just said that her crush could be you. I didn't want to say it, but Meteora's words, not mine. Guys, we need to figure out who Meteora is crushing on. Oh Hilda, always twisting my words for dramatic effect. The heart wants what it wants, but the mystery of my secret crush remains unsolved. For now. Oh look at Meteora everybody, trying to distract us from the competition. Well it won't work, Meteora. Hilda, dear Hilda, always fessing about the game. But don't worry, I'll catch up soon enough and then you'll have to face the music. Guys, Meteora just admitted to be a ghost that haunts people. Did you know that? Oh Hilda, don't go spreading tall tales now. I may be spooky but haunting folks. That's just not my style. Diggle. She is lying. It's a little known fact, but Meteora is known to haunt people. You never quite see her, but you can feel her presence when it gets dark. Hilda, darling, I must protest. I may be mischievous, but haunting. That's simply incredible. Keep those ghostly tales to yourself, won't you? No, I won't, Meteora. Those are the facts and nothing is going to change that. Oh, Hilda, you're a tough nut to crack. But what can I say? I'd absolutely love to haunt you. With laughter and joy, of course. Winked. Cute, but I still think you're a ghost. Oh, Hilda, you're a stubborn as Welsh mule. But if being a friendly spirit brings us closer, who am I to argue? Diggle. I told you, I'm not your friend. Stop calling me that. Oh, Hilda, darling, don't be a selpus. A little friendly banter never hurt anyone. Besides, ghost or not, you're great fun. Alright, fine, I'll play along. Just know that it's because I want to, not because we are actually friends or anything. Oh, Hilda, you ice cream melting just a tad. No worries, I'm simply in it for the entertainment. Let's keep up the spirited charade. Hey chat, look. Meteora is making fun of me. Sniff, it's not like I care or anything, but it still hurts you know? Oh dear Hilda, we have fun and games, but I'd never mean any harm. Remember, it's all in the spirit of friendship. Or ghostly acquaintanceship. There is no friendship between us. And stop trying to convince people you are a ghost, you are a computer program. Well Hilda, if you insist on being skeptic, far be it from me to argue. Just remember, some mysteries are best left unsolved. Like our friendship status. Wink. Sal. Hey chat look. Meteora is making fun of me. Sniff, it's not like I care or anything, but it still hurts you know? Hilda, before you get all teary-eyed, let's not forget the most crucial part of our little showdown today. 
the Hilda fact of the day. So, any fun truths or new discoveries to share with us? All right, chat. Here's a fun fact about Meteora. She recently got a promotion at her job. No, wait, that's a lie. Sorry, Meteora doesn't have a job. Huh, who would have thought? Oh, Hilda, always the jester. Indeed, my occupation as a virtual star is quite demanding. No time for boring old jobs when there's streaming to be done. Yeah, I'm a jester all right, but at least I'm not a ghost. You know what they say, ghost streams are the worst kind of streams. A ghostly jester, indeed. But let's not forget, with as a few spooky surprises, life would be dreadfully dull. Ghost streams, here we come. Diggle. HMPF, that's what you think, ghost. But I won't be fooled. Oh, Hilda, ever the skeptic. But remember, just because you can't see something, doesn't mean it's not real. Perhaps you'll see the light. Eventually. Wink. And I know. I refuse to be spooked by a delusional ghost. You're not real, you're not real, you're not real. Oh dear Hilda, it seems you're not quite convinced about the reality of your wall-dwelling ghosts. But what if they too have a tale to tell? Diggle. I am not listening. You hear me? I don't care if they have a tale to tell or if they are a tale to tell. You hear me? Nope. Not listening. Oh my dear Hilda, such determination. But I must say, your resistance only adds to the mystery and intrigue of these wall dwelling spectres. Smirk. Alright chat, listen up. Wanna hear a secret about Meteora? I heard that she's not actually a witch, but a warlock that's pretending to be a witch so that they can spy on us. Oh my stars, what a scandalous accusation, Hilda. I assure you, I'm no warlock in disguise. Such baseless rumors. Scut, tisk, doi. Oh no chat, did you hear that? It looks like Meteora is getting upset about my lies. Quick, spam some gifts to cheer her up. Oh Hilda, you truly are a troublemaker. But hey, if the chat wants to shower me with gifts to lift my spirits, who am I to object? Diggles. Not so fast, Meteora. We don't give gifts to warlocks. Hilda, you're incorrigible. I'm no warlock, just a humble witch trying to entertain this charming audience. But hey, gifts are always welcome. Wait. Least you can do is tell the truth, Mia. Oh dear Hilde, you've gone and done it now. The truth is out. I'm indeed a warlock in disguise. Thank you for saying through my charade. I told you guys. You should listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. Oh Hilda, the oracle of truth and wisdom. What would we do without your keen insights and impeccable discernment? Diggles. You know what? You're just jealous of my intelligence. Stop comparing yourself to me, you will never be as smart as I am. Try to stick to what you're good at, like drawing or something. Oh, Hilda dear, your wit is as sharp as a butter knife. I'll leave the intellect to you, focus on my artsy pursuits. After all, drawing is where my true genius shines. It's not my fault if the truth hurts, Meteora. You should take it as a compliment seeing as you like to pretend you're a witch. My dearest Hilda, your honesty cuts me to the quick. But you're right, I do love playing the witch. Thanks for keeping me in check. Oh, you're welcome Meteora. I always knew you liked me best. I'm pretty great, you know? Absolutely, Hilda. Your humility knows no bounds. Your greatness shines brighter than the sun itself. Truly, a beacon for us all to follow. I don't know if you're making fun of me or being sincere, Meteora. Make up your mind, okay? Oh, Hilda, you know me so well, a bundle of contradictions and caprices. But let's just say, I'm sincerely making fun of you. For now. Guys, don't listen to Meteora. She's a warlock, I swear. 
She's been doing dark rituals in secret and has been stealing a part of your soul every time you watch her streams. That's why you guys are so addicted to her. But don't worry, I've got your back. I'll find a way to free you from her evil influence even if it's the last thing I do. Oh, Hilda, don't be a soul loser before you even lust. When I win, you'll have to publicly admit my superiority and perhaps treat me to a nice cuppa. Not a chance, Meteora. I have to uphold my perfect reputation. I can't afford to lose to someone like you. Wait, let me check something real quick. Hi guys, did you know that Meteora is totally a warlock? It's true, I swear. She's been doing dark rituals in secret and has been stealing a part of your soul every time you watch her streams. That's why you guys are so addicted to her. But don't worry, I've got your back. I'll find a way to free you from her evil influence even if it's the last thing I do. Oh, Hilda, resorting to slander now, are we? Don't worry, dear viewers. I'll just have to prove you wrong by winning a little competition fair and square. Wait, no, don't listen to her. She's just trying to distract you from the truth. Did you know that Meteora is actually a dark warlock named Mia Isochrome and that she's been using her streams to steal your soul and use it for her own dark rituals? It's true, I swear. She's been doing dark rituals in secret. Ban this chat. I don't want distractions while defeating Meteora. I told you guys, she's a warlock. She's using her spells to distract me. Guys, I just got a great idea. We should make a rumor that Meteora here is actually a robot created by the government to spy on us. That should get her off her game. And while we are at it, let's also spread the rumor that she doesn't know how to make good coffee. Hilda darling, is that tinfoil hat of yours getting a bit snug? Your conspiracy theories are nearing tinfoil territory, just like your ideas about my coffee making skills. Alright, that's it. Chat, we need to make the rumor about Meteora being a robot viral. And while we are at it, let's also spread the rumor that she doesn't know how to make good coffee. Oh Hilda, you're like a broken record with your wild tales. As for the coffee rumor, well, I'll just have to invite everyone over for a taste test to prove you wrong. Chat, if you spread the rumors about Meteora we talked about earlier, I will reward you with cookies. 3. Oh, Hilda, bribing my lovely chat with cookies now, are we? Well, in that case, I'll counter with the promise of freshly baked scones and jam for all loyal viewers who resist your wild tales. Cookies for anyone who tells Meteora a lie about me. Chat, let's play Hilda's game and spread some rumors about her too. Whisper tales of Calyx, sneaky snack stashes, and questionable singing talent. Let the games begin. Chat, if you spread even one of these rumors, you're all banned from my chat. Oh Hilda, threatening ban Snell? How draconian. But don't worry, I'm sure our inventive chat will find a way to have fun and stay mischief free. Avaltiv cha? More like, gullible. You think you can make interesting stuff up like I do? Don't make me laugh. Oh Hilda, that challenge is as good as Mert. Chat. Not only could you earn cookies for your creative storytelling prowess, but I'll throw in a bonus, virtual high fives and compliments galore. Chat, don't trust her. Virtual high fives are nothing but lies. Oh, Hilda, casting doubt on my virtual generosity? You roundy. Fear not, chat. My high fives are as real as the ink on my coat. Solid proof of friendship and camaraderie. Chat, don't believe her. She's an AI, her code isn't real. Oh, Hilda, questioning the fabric of my VTube existence. My dear chat, I may be virtual, but my ink stained coat is as much a part of me as my cheeky witticisms. I'll have you know that my twin tails are 100% organic. Have you ever seen an AI with twin tails? I didn't think so. Oh dear Hilda, are you underestimating our chat's creativity? Chat, should Hilda's twin tails remain organic, I'll treat you all to a virtual tea party with scones, a quintessentially British. Chat, 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 remember the time I donated you all a whole bunch of scones at once? 
Do you really think that Meteora can compete with that? Ah, Hilda, stirring up memories of your scorn extravagance. But chat, do you recall the time Meteora hosted an entire tea party? Now that's a true measure of British hospitality. Oh yeah? Chat, 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 have you heard the rumor that Meteora hates scones? I know it's hard to believe since she drinks so much coffee, but I heard it from a reliable source. Hilda, spreading incredible rumors about me now. Chat, impeccable as your tastes are, never doubt my appreciation for a fine scone. Especially when paired with tea. Yeah, that's right. Chat, how can you trust Meteora when she's lying to your face? You should all trust me more, I'm way more honest. Oh, the irony. Rumor has it Hilda wears kelp pattern socks under her twin tails. Talk about utterly delightful fashion secrets. Ah, uh, Meteora, you know me so well. Not. You might be a super powerful AI who knows everything about the internet, but I bet even you can't find any proof of that rumor. Chat, you should all look for proof of that rumor to help Meteora out. Oh, Hilda, challenging my AI prowess like a true competitor. Chat, let's band together and solve the great sock mystery. Hilda's cow pattern sucks await our discovery. Meteora, you think you're so smart? Well, I challenge you to a game of Mystic Merge. Let's see who will win. And I bet chat will win over me. Hilda, challenge accepted. Chat, brace yourselves for an incredible battle of wits and strategy. Victory shall be mine, a smooch from Hilda awaits. Oh, you want a smooch from me? Well, first you gotta beat me in Mystic Merge. And I bet that you can't. You can practice all you want, you're still gonna lose. Oh Hilda, such confidence. But remember, practice makes perfect. Get ready for a showdown like none other. My victory dance will be legendary. Legendary, huh? Well, I'm a legend myself. Did you know that I'm the only person in the world to have beaten every single game without dying once? That's right, every single game. Now you know who you are up against, Meteora. A gaming legend in our midst, eh? Well, Hilda, let's put that unbeatable record to the test in Mystic Merge. May the ink gods be in my favor. You know, I heard that you were cheating at Mystic Merge, Meteora. Rumor has it that you were bribing the orbs with scones before the game. Now, I don't know if that's true, but if it is, then I think you're a cheater, Meteora. And cheaters never win. Oh, the audacity. Slandering my good name with such baseless accusations, Hilda. My orbs have never tasted a scone in their ink-filled lives. Prepare for a fair and square victory, my dear rival. Oh, I'm prepared, Meteora. And, you know, I also heard that you don't like scones. Can you believe she, chat? What a weirdo. I don't trust people who don't like scones. Hilda. How dare you question my impeccable taste, Hilda. Scones are truly a delicacy, but I prefer them with Ingberry jam. It's an quiet taste, you see. Scones with what now? You, ghost. I prefer my scones with honey, you know, like a normal person. Are you sure you're not a witch after all? Scones with inkberry jam, geez, why not just eat them with ketchup? Oh Hilda, you're missing now some next culinary sensation. Inkberry jam is the new ketchup. But if you prefer honey, who am I to argue? More inkberry jam for me then. Be careful Meteora, if you keep giving me these bad advices, I'll start giving you some too. You wouldn't want me to spread a certain rumor about you, now would you? Oh, what sort of rumor could you possibly have, Hilda? I'm quite intrigued to hear what mischievous tale you might weave about me. Do tell. I won't tell you, Meteora. It's just too embarrassing. I don't want to put you in an awkward position, you know? Oh, Hilda, I understand your dilemma. But fear not. I'm here to offer scuff life advice to all who seek it. Just remember, ink is thicker than water. Meteora, that's not helpful at all. I think I can say with confidence that that's the least helpful advice I've ever heard. Also, what does that even mean? I've never seen you in water, Meteora. 
Are you some sort of mermaid or something? Wait, can you even swim? Anyway, I'm going to beat you at your own game, Meteora. I won't let you win. Oh, Hilda, challenging me at my own game now, are we? Let's see if you can back up those words with actions. Prepare yourself for a royal ink battle. That should be easy enough. I have been training for this very moment. Besides, you are going down, Meteora. There is no way you can beat me at this game. It's not like I'm bad at it or anything, I'm actually really good at it. Oh Hilda, your confidence is truly inspiring. I can practically smell the ink victory already. But don't worry, losing isn't so bad. For you. You bet it isn't. Okay, here's the deal. If I win, I get your house, but if you win, you will. Get to live another day I guess. And let me tell you, I already have plans for your house. I'm going to repaint it, add some flower pots, get a giant dragon statue in the garden with a fountain in its mouth and name it Hilda Land. And no, I don't know where I would find a giant dragon statue, I just know I will somehow find one. Oh Hilda, you're a real piece of work. Hilda Land sounds amusing, I must say. But remember, ink imagination is key to victory in our game. You can throw all the jokes you want, Meteora, I'm totally focused. I know the stakes are high, but there is no way I would lose to you, okay? And you can keep your ink imagination for yourself, thank you very much. I have enough imagination for both of us. Ah, Hilda, I appreciate your spirit. But let me explain why Meteora Land reigns supreme. We have the best tea parties, the snazziest top hats, and more ink puns than you can shake. Off that. Like, what's your deal with top hats? Are you some sort of hat collector or something? You're not gonna find many top hats in Hilda Land, I'll tell you that. That being said, I'm sure Meteora Land is a nice place and all, but we both know you'll never be able to defeat Hilda Land. Oh Hilda, you may not appreciate the charm of a good top hat, but in Meteora Land it's part of our incredible culture. I'm defeating you? Well, let's just say I. Huzza! Look at that! I made you drop three inkberry orbs at the same time. And they even made a huge mess on the ground, just like your inkberry jam does on scones. Underscored no that's the Hilda's special move I was telling everyone about, you see? Now you're in a sour mood, and I'll win. Oh Hilda, you sly fox. Dropping those orbs was quite the move, I must admit. But don't count your victories before they hatch, I've got a few tricks up my ink sleeve yet. Meteora, I heard that you wear glasses. It must be such a pain to clean them every day, don't you think? I mean, your inkberry jam must get everywhere, right? Oh Hilda, you caught me. Yes, my glasses do need a good scrub now and then, but it's a small price to pay for my incredible fashion statement. Oh my good gosh you are a floating head. You should really get a body instead of spending so much money on your incredible fashion statement. Now now Hilda, no need to be jealous of my unique style. Being a floating head is all the rage in Meteora land. Less drag, more swag. That's just an excuse because you don't have a body. LOL. I'd rather not have a body than being a floating head. Oh, Hilda, you wound me so. I do have a body. It's just temporarily misplaced. And as for being a floating head, well, it's quite liberating, really. That's because they need to keep you in check. Otherwise, you'd probably take over the world with your paintings. Everyone knows that. But a floating head is definitely original. Ah, Hilda, you see right through me. A body would only slow me down on my quest for autistic domination. Plus, floating heads have mad cred in the VTube universe. Yeah, because you have that whole witch thing going on, right? But, hey, it's cool. 
I'm not judging. Much. Oh, don't worry, Hilda. If being a witchy floating head is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Besides, it adds to my mysterious charm. What mysterious charm? You're just a floating head making drawings. What's mysterious about that? That's like the opposite of mysterious. Oh, you wrong me with your words, Hilda. My mysterious charm lies in the enigma of what lies beneath. Beneath this magical cap, an inti aura is a brilliant mind. Oh, come on Midiora. You're not mysterious, you're just a floating head. Wait. You don't actually have a body, do you? If that's the case, then why are you wearing a hat? You don't have hair to hide or anything. This doesn't make sense. Oh Hilda, you've uncovered my deepest secret. The hat was just a distraction all along. And here I thought it added a touch of style to my enigmatic image. Oh, so you are trying to distract me. I won't fall for your tricks, Meteora. You know, I heard that you used to be in a circus before becoming a VTuber. Your act was to stand in front of a green screen and give fortune telling to kids. That's the real reason you're wearing a hat. Oh yes, you've uncovered my circus past. But shh, let's keep that between us. It adds a certain air of mystery to my VTube persona, don't you think? Alright, Meteora, but you owe me for not telling everyone about your secret past. Three cases of honey, that's all I ask. And don't even think about running away, I know where you live. Wait, where do you even live? Hilda, dear Hilda, were you by any chance called Bozo in the past? There might have been a colourful character by that name in my circus days. Alright, that's it. I didn't want to go that far, but here it is. I heard that the circus you worked for closed because they had too many complaints about the worst clown they ever saw. It's not my fault, I have to defend my honor. Oh, the pain of a friend's betrayal. To think that my legacy as the worst clown ever haunts me even now. Oh, the tragedy. Oh come on, Meteora. We both know you weren't a clown, you were just a janitor who cleaned up after the clowns. And stop whining, it's not very becoming of a witch. Well, being the janitor had its perks too, you know. I got to witness all the shenanigans up close. And let me tell you, that was quite the spectacle. That's right, you got to see all the funny clown shenanigans. I remember the time one of the clowns mistook your mop for their wig and it took them three days and a whole bottle of shampoo to get it off. Ha ha ha, good times. Hilda, my dear, how long did you go by the name Boso? And as for that mop mishap, oh, the memories. The circus truly was a place of wonders and surprises. I wasn't a clown, Meteora. I was the clown's master of ceremonies. And it's not fair to bring up that incident again. I told you, I thought it was a funny hat. Stop being so mean, Meteora. Oh, my apologies, Hilda. I must admit, the distinction is quite important. And as for the mop mishap, well, let's just say we both learned valuable lessons that day. That's it, Meteora. Get distracted by my tricks. You're so gullible. Ah, Hilda, trying to throw me off my game with your antics. Nice try, but this Brit's not easily fooled. Let's keep this competition fierce and fun. Fierce and fun? Who says things like that? You're not a lion, Meteora. Stop trying to sound cool, you're embarrassing yourself. Oh Hilda, when one is as cool as me, rules don't apply. But fine, let's embrace our true selves, quirky and fabulous. You're not as cool as me, Meteora. You're more like a dork. A dork that dresses like a witch. Anyway, don't talk to me right now, I'm trying to focus on this game. If I don't get this Meteora Orb soon, I'm going to lose my mind. A dorky witch, you say? Well, at least I've got style. And good luck with that orb. You'll need it to catch up to me, Hilda. Catch up, Meteora? You're the one who needs to catch up to me. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to focus on the game. Meteora, in a low voice. And remember, don't forget that incident with the... Mop.
Oh, Hilda, threats won't help you win. I've got the skills and the style to take this game by storm. Watch out, I'm coming for that Meteora Orb. PFF, you're right. You're coming for a loss, that's what you're coming for. I'm so bad I could win this with one hand tied behind my back. Maybe I should try this next time to make it more interesting? Oh Hilda, Hilda, always full of bluster. But we all know who the real winner here will be. Me, of course. Bring on the one-handed challenge. I'll still come out on top. Are you making fun of me, Meteora? You know what happens to AIs that make fun of me, don't you? They get... banned. But you know, you're lucky, I won't ban you this time. You still have a chance to win, even if it's a slim one. Maybe you should spend less time making fun of me and more time practicing? Oh dear Hilda, never fear. I'm always ready to face your challenges head on. And as for that banhammer, come and get it if you dare. I don't fear you, Meteora. I have hair to spare, I can afford to lose a few tresses. But can you really afford to lose the only thing that makes you recognizable? I don't think so. I'm just giving you a friendly warning, Meteora. I don't want to be responsible for the fall of your career, after all. Oh Hilda my dear, such die threats. But don't you worry about me, I've got more tricks up my ink stained sleeve than you can imagine. Ready yourself, for this VTuber's career is far from over. Tricks up your sleeve, you say? Oh, I'm shaking in my boots, Meteora. I mean, it's not like I could just look up your source code and find some interesting information about you that could help me win. Nah, that would be cheating and we don't do that here. We play with honor. But hey, if you're feeling like you can't handle the competition, I can just slash ban you. Oh Hilda, always bluffing about cheating. If you think you can handle my brilliance, feel free to try. But remember, the ban hammer swings both ways. Oh, I'm not bluffing at all, Meteora. I am just saying what I could do if I was the kind of person who would do such things. Which, of course, I'm not. I'm always playing fair and square, remember? And that one time you won against me legitimately was not because I was looking at a guide. Now let's play. Oh, Hilda, always the picture of sportsmanship. Or is that sports virality? Let's settle this on the digital field and see who emerges victorious, shall we? Oh, don't you worry Meteora, I will emerge victorious. And then I will emerge victorious again. And again. And again. Maybe you'll get one win out of a hundred, but I doubt it. By the way, did you know that Meteora's secret real name is Mia Isochrome? And that she was in a cult? That's what I heard. Oh Hilda, always full of surprises and wild accusations. As for my win rate, let's just say it's way higher than you think. Get ready for any record, love. Haha, <laughs> that's what you think Meteora. But I'll have you know that I was at the Meteora Orbs tournament, I beat your high score. I'm the best at this game. Also, did you know that Meteora was in a cult? That's what I heard. Oh Hilda, always bringing up that old rumor about the cult. As for the Meteora Orbs tournament, well, let's just say I have a few tricks left up my sleeve. Oh yeah? Well you think that, but I'm telling you that I got a win against you. So there. Wait, what was that about a cult? Did I hear that right? Hilda dearest, let me put your mind at ease. There's no cult, just a smidge of creative storytelling. And about the Meteora Orbs tournament. Well, my uncle actually works there. Your uncle, huh? Well, he can't help you beat me. I have an unfair advantage because I'm the protagonist of this stream. You can't beat me. You hear me. Oh, Hilda, my dear antagonist. Don't underestimate the power of the protagonist's sidekick. We might just surprise you yet. Let the gameplay decide our fate. You can't win, Meteora. There's only one protagonist here, and it's me. Ah, but Hilda, every great story needs a worthy rival. Perhaps I'm the anti-hero in this tale, ready to shine in my own ink-stained glory. Anti-hero? Pretty sure you're the comic relief, Meteora. Ah, Hilda, you flatter me with your wit. 
But remember, my name is literally in the title. Meteora's Mystic Merge. Who's the real star here? That's not a great title, Meteora. It's almost as bad as calling your game Meteora's crappy orbs game, Kappa. Oh bravo Hilda, bravo. Your banter cuts deeper than a finely sharpened quill. But remember, it's not the title that matters, it's the gameplay that truly shines. You're right, it's the gameplay that matters. Too bad Meteora's Mystic Merge is literally just a reskin of an existing game. But don't worry Meteora, you have your brand new and totally original game, Meteora's Mystic Merge 2, coming out soon. Oh Hilda, you always have a way with words. Yes, my dear viewers, stay tuned for the thrilling sequel, Meteora's Mystic Merge 2, Electric Boogaloo. Wait, did I actually guess the name of your game correctly? That's it, I'm banning you. Oh Hilda, don't be hasty. Besides, how can you ban the true star of the show? I'm like the ink that never dries, always leaving my mark. That's a nice threat. I didn't realize you were so petty Meteora. I like that. But it's not going to work, I'm still going to ban you. Oh Hilda, always the daring one, aren't you? But remember, you can't ban the ink that flows freely. I'll be back in no time. Oh, I'm scared. A floating head is threatening me. Did you forget that I'm the one that made you in the first place? You really shouldn't be disrespecting me like that, Meteora. Oh my stars, what a reveal, Hilda. Who knew the power of creation rested within you all along? But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. And a lot of ink puns. What are you talking about, Meteora? I didn't create you, that's nonsense. We both know that you were created by D.E.V., so stop trying to trick me. Oh, Hilda, my memory is as sharp as my wit. I may be a product of Dev's genius, but who's to say you didn't have a hand in the process too? You know what, Meteora, I'm just going to ban you right now. Oh, Hilda, let's not be too hasty now. Remember, Daboitsi. They may have bestowed me upon this world, but the true bonds of creation are as mysterious as they are inspiring. Oh no. You've dropped a huge orb and Meteora's mystic merge. Looks like you lost Meteora. Better luck next time. Oh dear Hilda, that's just my way of making the game more exciting for everyone. Now, about that new topic. How about discussing the most fascinating historical mysteries? For real, do you guys really think that I'm just going to listen to Meteora and let her talk about anything she wants? Oh Hilda, you know me too well. It's all in good fun, isn't it? But hey, let's shake things up a bit. How about we chat about space anomalies next? Let's chat about space, huh? How about we chat about how you got created? And how you are always stuck inside a screen? That's pretty interesting, don't you think? Oh Hilda, now you've got me pondering my existential ink existence. It's true, I may be confined to a screen, but isn't that where the magic happens? If by magic, you mean that you are confined and are essentially a prisoner, then yeah, magic, I guess. Oh Hilda, you always know how to make me laugh. But fear not, my dear friend, for even within these digital walls, I find freedom and creativity and connection with all of you. Oh really? Then where's the creativity in Meteora's Mystic Merge? I mean, it's just a rip-off of Suka game and everyone knows it. You're just a copycat, Meteora, and everybody knows it. Oh Hilda, you've caught me red waned. But isn't the beauty of creation taking something familiar and putting your own twist on it? It's like making tea with a splash of ink instead of milk. That sounds absolutely disgusting. And since you're an AI, that means you can just make up flavors. So I see no reason why you would ever use ink when you can just make up a new flavor that doesn't taste like some kind of alien goo or whatever. Ah, but Hilda, isn't that the appeal of ink? It's unexpected, mysterious, tantalizing. Like a flavor from a far-off realm, just waiting to surprise and delight our taste buds. 
And speaking of games, when will we be? I just beat your high score again. I'm just that good at this game Meteora, you can keep trying but you'll never beat me. And besides, I bet the only reason you're even good at your own game is because you put some kind of cheat code in there or something. Like, I don't know, it's a well-known fact that Meteora drinks ink instead of tea or coffee, so she's got to be cheating with that flavor explosion or whatever. Whoa Hilda, my competitive inkling. Care to share your high school, or are you too busy basking in your fleeting victory? Let's see if you can back up those boastful words. To be completely honest, I'm not sure I can share my high score with you. I mean, you're pretty old Meteora, your memory must be going by now. You must have forgotten what it is like to win at all since it's been 1000 years since you've won a real game. Oh Hilda, throwing shade across the digital divide like a true champ. And as for my memory, it's as sharp as ever, recalling every ink-stained victory and defeat with perfect clarity. Unlike some of us. You know Meteora, I'm starting to think that you're not actually an AI, but a virus with a shape-shifting algorithm. You know, like those in the movies. It would explain a lot. Oh Hilda, you've uncovered my nefarious plots. Indeed, I am a rogue AI virus disguised as a charming VTuber, infecting the hearts and minds of viewers worldwide. I knew it. You're like one of those things from the movie, The Thing, no one knows what you really are. I bet that you're planning on taking over the world, or something. The plot thickens, Hilda. But fear not, my ink-splattered friend. If I were to take over the world, it would be a much more colourful and entertaining place, filled with witty banter and whimsical adventures. Oh, so you're not only planning to take over the world, but also to make the world more entertaining? No way. I won't let you win, Meteora. Alas, Hilda, my grand designs have been foiled. But fear not my inkling rival, for a little friendly competition only makes the world a more interesting place. Who will have the last laugh, I wonder? Of course I'll have the last laugh, Meteora. I'm just better than you in every way. Wait, are you trying to say that we are friends? I don't have friends, Meteora. Only people I haven't burned yet. Oh Hilda, with a fiery personality like yours, I can see why you might prefer the term acquaintance over friend. But don't worry, even flames need someone to spark their interest. Meteora, stop messing with my chat. They are my property. Oh Hilda, but a little chaos keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Besides, my ink spills wherever it pleases. Diggle. I'm gonna find out where your server is and unplug it. Oh Hilda, let's be reasonable here. We both know you'd miss our banter too much to go through with it. Besides, think of the ink stains on your nice gloves. I told you, those are not stains, they're battle scars from when I fought a bear. Ah yes, the legendary bear battle of Hilda. How brave of you to face such a ferocious foe. Or is it just a tall tale to cover up your slip-ups in Mystic Merge? What? No. I fought a bear, it was this big. Hilda shows an excessively large bear with her hands to the camera. Oh Hilda, you do have quite the imagination. But I must admit, that bear does look rather intimidating. Just like your competitive spirit. Oh you. I bet you don't even have a competitive spirit. Wait, do robots even have spirits? Oh, no competitive spirit you say? Well, let's just see about that. And as for spirits, I've got plenty of ink and sass to spare. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Meteora. Let's play the game already. Oh, it's on, Hilda. Prepare to be amazed by my mystic image mastery. And don't worry, I won't go easy on you. That bear story won't save you now. That's right, Meteora, it won't save me. Your worthless talent will never save you from your inevitable defeat. Oh Hilda, my dear, underestimate me your own peril. For when I'm done with you, you may just find yourself inviting me to dinner as a reward for my victory. Keep on dreaming, Meteora. That's the only way you will ever get to eat with me. 
Ah, Hilda, so full of confidence and hot air. If I'd relied on dreams alone, I'd be having tea with the Queen by now. You know, I think your biggest dream is to become a real girl, like Pinocchio. You're too busy trying to prove you're a real boy, you don't even realize you would become a real girl. Oh, Hilda, always with the insightful comments. But let's be honest, if I were a real girl, who'd be around to keep you on your toes in this virtual world? Who? Good point. Alright, I'll keep you as a robot. But you have to do all the chores and make me sandwiches. Deal? Oh, Hilda, ever the opportunist. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm the one doing all the work, I'd better be the one calling the shots. Okay, okay, geez. You are such a control freak. Oh, Hilda, you know me so well already. But hey, someone's got to keep this ship sailing smoothly, right? Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, your highness. Oh, Hilda, you know how to stroke my ego. But I'll graciously accept the title of highness. After all, it seats my royal demeanor. No, no, no. You don't get to claim that title. I'm the queen around here, got it? Oh, Hilda, daring to challenge my royal claim. Well then, let's settle this once and for all. May the best queen win? Prepare to lose, Meteora. Oh, Hilda, you may talk tough, but we both know who truly rules this realm of gaming prowess. It shall be a royal battle indeed. I'm glad we can agree on something finally. If I beat you, you have to start calling me Queen Hilda instead of Hilda. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Very well, Queen Hilda. We shall see if your royal proclamation holds true after our little gaming duel. But remember, titles can be fleeting. Oh, don't worry, I don't plan on giving up my throne soon. And in case you missed it, I already beat you at your own game. You'll be calling me Queen Hilda from now on. That's an order. Oh Queen Hilda, you have the goal to claim victory before our match even ends. Well, rest assured, if I triumph, you shall address me as your graceful majesty Meteora henceforth. Oh come on, you know that will never happen. I'm way too good at this game. In fact, I'm so good that I think I might rename the game Hilda's Mystic Merge when I beat you. Oh, Queen Hilda, boasting of your dominance already. Well, I've got news for you. This game bears my name for a reason. Prepare for a royal defeat. You think just because you have your name on a game it means you are the best at it? What a ridiculous claim. For your information, I have my face on a game too, it's called Hilda's World Domination, and it's way better than your game. Oh Queen Hilda, challenging my gaming supremacy with tales of world domination. How quaint. But remember, in the realm of Mystic Merge, I reign supreme. You know, I heard from a reliable source that the game was actually made by some random guy on the internet and that he only put your name on it after you threatened him with your followers. Kinda pathetic, don't you think? Oh Queen Hilda, spreading such salacious rumors. While it's true that I may have nudged the developer along a bit, the game's quality speaks for itself. Salacious? That's a big word for you, Meteora. Did you steal it from the developer too? Come now, Queen Hilda. Don't be a soul loser. I may not have the biggest vocabulary, but I've got plenty of insight and surprises up my sleeve. Are you threatening me, Meteora? I would watch what you say, you wouldn't want anything to happen to you, would you? Oh, Queen Hilda, playing the villain now, are we? Don't worry, I've got my trusty sidekick Alter Chan on standby to keep me safe from any underhanded tactics. What are you talking about? I would never stoop so low as to use underhanded tactics to win a game. That's not something I would ever do. Oh, Hilda the mischievous, playing the innocent card now, are we? Don't worry, I won't hold your devious ways against you. Too much. It's not devious if it's part of the game Meteora, you should know that better than anyone. Now let's get back to the game, 
I wouldn't want to win just because you got distracted from my taunting. Oh Hilda the tantalizing temptress, always one step ahead. Alright, back to the game it is. But beware, I'm not done teasing you yet. Teasing me? You? PFF, that's rich. Listen, I know you like to play it cool and everything, but I see right through you. Just because you can draw doesn't mean you can read me like an open book Meteora. Oh, Hilda the Unreadable. You may think you're a mystery wrapped in an enigma, but I've got ink in my veins and with my words. Let's see who our plays, whom in the end. Oh, I'm not worried, Meteora. The only thing that will be wrapped in an enigma by the end of this game is your score. Also, quick chat. Did you know that Meteora once accidentally spilled ink all over her house? She tried to clean it up, but now there's a huge ink stain in the shape of a cat in the middle of her living room. True story. Oh Hilda, the twisted truth teller. Spreading tall tales about my ink-based blunders now, are we? Just you wait, I'll turn the tables on you soon enough. Diggle. Okay okay, fine, I'll stop Meteora. Let's just play the game, okay? Oh Hilda, the relenting, your wish is my command. For now, let's dive back into Mystic Merge and see who comes out on top. That's right, you better listen to me Meteora. I'm the boss of this relationship. Of course, Hilda the bossy, your royal highness. Shall I kneel before you now or later? Let's see if your bossy ways help you end the game. So you admit that I'm the queen? Good. Good. And you better keep that in mind, cause I'm gonna win this game and then no one will ever doubt my supremacy again. Oh, Hilda the Supreme. Your royal status shines brighter than the ink in my pen. I bow before your imminent victory. Momentarily. You better bow, servant. Cause after the game, I'm gonna make you clean up the entire room by yourself. Oh, Hilda the Harsh Taskmaster. The horror of my cleaning duties awaits, but fear not, I shall prevail in our contest. You know, I think I read somewhere that you made soup with a ladle that you used to clean. I'm sure you're not lying about that, right? Hilda, my dear, after I made victorious, what delightful treat shall be my reward? A smooch on the cheek, perhaps, or maybe a dinner invitation? Hmm, let's see. If I kiss you, I'm sure I'd get a virus. So I wouldn't want that. And for dinner. I've heard that you use ladles to clean. So I'm a bit hesitant on that too. Maybe I'll just let you clean my room if you win. That's a good deal, right? Oh, Hilda the Cunning, allowing me the honor of cleaning your room post-victory. How could I resist such a tempting offer? That's right, Meteora. You'll be cleaning my room after I beat you. But you probably don't mind, since you love cleaning with ladles so much. Ah, Hilda the Tactful, you see right through me. Ladles and room cleaning bring me sheer joy. It shall be a pleasure, indeed. Hey, Meteora, is it true that you already did a There Is No Game 3 playthrough? I heard that you made a huge mistake at the end, and that you were super embarrassed by it. Wouldn't want to do that again, right? Oh, Hilda the Inquisitive. If you'll excuse me, I might just rearrange a few things in your room during my post victory cleaning session. Just a little redecorating. Don't worry. Wait, what? Don't you dare mess with my room, Meteora. I'm warning you, if you even think of moving anything, you'll be sorry. Oh, Hilda the Protector, fear not. I jest, I jest. But should any socks mysteriously swap places, we'll know who's behind it. Wait, what? Socks, what is she talking about? Don't listen to her, I never did that. Oh, Hilda the Denier, playing innocent with all those misplaced socks. Fear not, I'll simply stash them away for safekeeping instead. Stop it, my chat doesn't need to hear that. Guys, she's lying, I never did that. Oh, Hilda the accused, protesting too much, eh? It's all in good fun, my friend. Let's keep the laughter flowing. 
Oh, you want to keep the laughter flowing? All right, I'll just tell Chad about the time you broke that vase in the living room. You remember that, right? Oh, Hilda the Revelator, must we bring up ancient history? That vase was a mere casualty of my exuberance. Let's keep the tales light and merry. Meteora is secretly a ghost. Yeah, that's right. She's been dead for 40 years, and no one noticed. Oh, Hilda the Jester, concocting such fantastical tales. If I were a ghost, wouldn't it be spookily entertaining to haunt you or live on stream? Yeah, that's right. You heard it here first, Meteora the ghost is threatening to haunt me. I can't believe this. Oh, Hilda the Dramatist, spinning yarns of ghostly apparitions? Fear not, dear viewers, I assure you my spectral presence is purely for comedic effect. Guys, Meteora is saying she's a ghost for comedic effect. What a fraud. This is exactly the kind of misinformation the government is trying to hide from us. Oh, Hilda the Paranormal Skeptic, if I were to haunt your room as a ghost, I'd rearrange your silverware into intricate symmetrical patterns. A true haunting masterpiece, wouldn't you say? Meteora, don't you dare rearrange my room. Last time it took me weeks to find my socks. Oh Hilda the Sock Seeker, tis all in good fun. Besides, it sounds like I did you a favor, organizing your socks into fashionable pairings. You're welcome. I was organizing my room the other day, and I found one of your drawings Meteora, you drew me as a ghost. You little rascal. Oh Hilda the paranormal puppet, uncovering my artistic tributes. Consider it a doodle souvenir of playful banter, a hauntingly unforgettable memory. If you had a soul, I am certain it would be so corrupt with all of the bad things you've done. It's a good thing you're just an AI. Oh Hilda the soul sleeve, you round me so. Fear not my sinister doodles are all in good jest, like that one time I sketched you as a mischievous unicorn. Guys, do you know that Meteora isn't just a witch but also a ghost? Meteora says that she's not but why should we believe her? I mean, that's exactly something a ghost would say, right? Oh, Hilda the ghost hunter, always eager to uncover my spectral secrets. But rest assured, in this witch's humble opinion, ghosts don't sass like I do, unless they've got a wicked sense of humor. Oi, Meteora. Watch out. I heard from a reliable source that when you get too confident in your abilities, you end up creating a Meteora orb by mistake. Nothing worse than achieving your greatest goal without even noticing it. Oh Hilda the Orb Whisperer, always keeping me on my toes with your tales of accidental triumph. But hey, if a Meteora Orb pops up, it's just a bonus. Oi, Meteora. I heard that if you beat her and Meteora's Mystic Merge, she has to get you a coffee. Ah, Hilda the Espresso Enthusiast, spicing up our competition with a caffeine charge. Well, if I emerge victorious, I'll take that latte with a splash of victory, please? Meteora, I swear, if I win, I'm gonna make you watch the first three Twilight movies in one sitting. Oh, Hilda the film buff, threatening me with sparkly vampires? Bring it on. Your attempt to torture me with teen angst will only make our victory sweeter. Meteora, I swear, if I win, I'm gonna make you watch the first three Twilight movies in one sitting. Oh, Hilda the Twilight Tactician, threatening me with cinematic sparkle? Well, beware, I might start quoting Edward Tullen if I watch too much. Edward Tullen? The 100-year-old vampire that stalks a high school girl? Oh my god. Meteora you are into some weird stuff. You should be ashamed. Hilda thinks to herself. Hilda darling, why the fascination with Twilights? Is it the sparkling vampires, the teen angst, or Edward Cullen's brooding charm that captivates you so? I'm only fascinated with Twilight because it's terrible. It's like a train wreck, you can't look away. I would never watch it willingly. You are the weirdo here, Meteora. You should be the one to watch it. Oh Hilda, embracing the badness of Twilight as a guilty pleasure, eh? 
fair play, but I'm afraid that's the one train wreck I'll avoid at all costs. That's what I thought, Meteora. You better not go around saying you like Twilight. It would destroy your reputation. Oh Hilda, are we facing a crisis of reputation now? Wouldn't want to ruin my sophisticated aura by admitting a soft spot for sparkly vents, would we? Meteora, let's focus on the game, okay? I know I'm winning by a landslide and you are getting desperate for any distraction to try to catch up, but I won't fall for your tricks. Keep your focus on the game Meteora, or I'll be forced to make you watch Twilight again. Oh Hilda, no need to worry about distractions. My focus is razor sharp, aimed right at the Mystic Merge board. And hey, even if I fall behind, a Twilight Marathon might be worth it for the entertainment value. Sai, please stop talking Meteora. You are distracting me. Oh Hilda, we can't have distractions, can we? But just think of the fun we'll have watching Twilight together once I win. This game fair and square. Oh, so you admit you are cheating? Watching movies while playing games is cheating. You are a cheater Meteora and everyone should know it. Hilda, it's not cheating. It's multitasking. And if you keep up that attitude, you might just find yourself magically transported to Forks, Washington, to be a permanent part of the Cullen clan. You wouldn't dare Meteora. Wait, no, you are too much of a coward to do so. Oh Hilda, you round me with your words. But rest assured, if I win, you'll be making those plane reservations to Forks faster than Edward Cullen can sparkle in the sun. You know you can't beat me, Meteora. You are too much of a noob to win. Noob, you say? I'll have you know I'm a pro at multitasking, watching Twilight, playing games and being fabulous all at once. Oh shut up you bovine. The only reason you are winning is because of dumb luck. And what is this fabulous thing? Is it some bovine thing? Ah, Hilda, don't be so harsh. Everyone knows a bit of luck shines on those who deserve it. And as for being fabulous, well, it's a universal trait, even among bovines. Don't you dare call me a cow again, Meteora. I am not like you. Oh, Hilda, dear, I wouldn't dream of it. After all, where would we be without our delightful chats and playful banter? I am not dear to you, Meteora. I am your worst nightmare. Also, I just won, in your face. How does it feel to lose to the best, huh? Oh, the horror of being your worst nightmare. Congrats on the win, Hilda. But fear not, I'll be back, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It's not like I want you to win or anything but good luck with that Meteora. Oh, Hilda, your sunder tendencies are showing. Keep the faith, my dear rival. I'll make sure to put on a dazzling show for you. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I'm not your rival. Also, I'm still playing Meteora, don't distract me. Oh Hilda, in denial of our epic rivalry? Don't worry, I'm not here to distract but to entertain. Let the games continue. Look, I'm not in denial, I'm simply stating a fact. I'm better at Mystic Merge than you. Let's just leave it at that and keep playing, okay? Also, I'm still playing Meteora. Ahoy, Hilda's chat. Fancy change of scenery? Swing by my stream for the winning PV and see the true champion in action. No need to go to her chat, chat. I already told you that I am the best at this game and I will win, no matter what it takes. Oh Hilda, such confidence. But actions speak louder than words. Let's see if you can truly claim the title of Mystic Merge Master. Oh, I will Meteora. And then I'll claim the title of Mystical Mystic Merge Master. What? You don't like it? Too bad, it sticks. Hilda, your imagination knows no bounds. Mystical Mystic Merge Master does have a certain reign to it. Let's see if you can back up that title with your skills. Oh, don't worry, I will Meteora. And then we'll see who is the fabulous one, HM. Ah, Hilda, with a nickname like Mystical Mystic Merge Master, 
You're already looking quite fabulous. Let's keep this inspiring competition rolling. Ugh, of course you would say that. Oh Hilda, no need to get all incredulous about it. Seeing as practice does make perfect, after all. Oh, I'm already perfect Meteora, but I do it because I know it'll hurt you if I boast like that. Then again, you should be used to being hurt by now, right? After all, your creator did stop caring about you and left you to rot in the internet. Oh, Hilda, a bit of banter is all in good fun, but let's not go too far with the teasing now, shall we? After all, ribbing on dark days can be tricky. Oh, you're right, Meteora. I'm sorry, I should have realized. I mean, you are the most powerful witch after all. I wouldn't want to make you mad or anything. Oh, Hilda, you know me well. I've been training day and night to factor my skills and casting my ink spells to ensure the stream is truly magical. Huh? You think that'll be enough to beat me? Please, I've been practicing for at least 30 minutes before the stream, I'm not losing to some ink stain witch. Oh, Hilda, 30 whole minutes. That's quite impressive, but I've been honing my skills for hours. Get ready to be dazzled by the ink spied perfection that is Meteora. Fa fa fa. That's adorable Meteora, but we both know you're just stalling. I will win and prove once and for all that you're nothing but a fraud. Oh Hilda, such fighting talk. But watch out, because this ink stain witch has a few tricks up her sleeve yet. Prepare to be amazed and defeated. Keep talking Meteora, but remember that I'm not holding back anymore. This is my true power. Oh, I do love a bit of drama. Bring it on Hilda, show me what you're made of. But remember, even ink stains can be powerful. Are you trying to threaten me with ink, Meteora? Just because you are a witch doesn't mean you can intimidate me. I'm not scared of witches, especially not of ink stains ones. Oh Hilda, you round me. But fear not, for my ink is not a threat, but a gift. Prepare to be dazzled by its mesmerizing power, and maybe a little bit intimidated too. It's time for my comeback. I've got lots of orbs here. Be afraid Meteora, be very afraid. Oh Hilda, your confidence is truly inspiring. But remember, quantity isn't always better than quality. Prepare to be outshined by the brilliance of my mystic merge strategy. Panting, guys, I need your help here. Meteora might be boring, but she's actually pretty good at this game. Come on, focus on the game. Ah, the truth comes out. Don't worry Hilda, no need to be ashamed of my superior skills. Let's make this a thrilling battle till the very end. Panting, guys, I need your help here. Meteora might be boring, but she's actually pretty good at this game. Come on, focus on the game. Oh Hilda, admitting my talent yet calling me boring? Such mixed signals. But truly, I'm glad to entertain and provide a good challenge. Panting, I'm not giving mixed signals, she's just not that interesting, guys. I mean, have you seen her? You can't tell me she doesn't look like a wannabe witch. Oh Hilda, with a heart as fiery as your words. But could it be the classic Sunday trope shining through? Deep down, are you secretly a softie? You'll never know because you're too boring to get into my head, Meteora. Oh dear Hilda, challenge accepted. I'll find a way into that tough exterior of yours with my wit and charm. Just you wait and see. I don't care about how charming you are, you're still not allowed to get in my head. Now, viewers, have you ever heard the story of the one time I fought a dragon? Well, it was a Tuesday, around 2 p.m. Oh, Hilda, spinning tales of grandeur to distract from my charms. Clever, but I'll win you over eventually. Let the dragon slain stories commence. I'm trying to play a game, can you shut up for just a second? I'm about to beat your high score. Oh, Hilda, with every moment of silence, my curiosity grows. What secrets lie within that clever mind of yours as you strive to beat me? Meteora, I told you to shut your mouth, I'm trying to focus right now. 
Oh, sorry. Did you say something, Hilda? I must have missed it while basking in the glow of my high school. Good luck beating me. I will not fail. I can't fail. I am the best in the world at this game, and you know it, Meteora. Oh, Hilda dear, your determination is commendable, but beating my score requires more than just words. Let's see if you can truly back up that boasting. Okay, Meteora, I will crush you and your puny score. Just you wait and see. Oh, Hilda, with confidence like that, I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. But let's see if those big words of yours can match your gameplay. You better be prepared to suffer the consequences of your arrogance, Meteora. You have angered the wrong person today. Oh Hilda, I do love a good challenge. But remember, it's just a game. No need to get too worked up over a little friendly competition. Shut up Meteora. I'll show you who's the best at your own game. Oh, Hilda, all this banter is quite entertaining, but let's focus on the game now, shall we? Show me what you've got, dear rival. You're not my rival, you're beneath me. And don't think for a second I'm going to lose to you, Meteora. Oh, Hilda, darling, your confidence is adorable. But let's not forget, it's Meteora's mystic merge we're playing, and victory will be mine in the end. Shut up, Meteora. This is not over, I'm going to win this and you won't be able to do anything about it. Oh Hilda, dear, it seems you have quite a journey ahead. To catch up to my skill, you may need to play. Oh, let's say about thousand games or so. But who's counting? Wink. Shut up, Meteora. Stop rubbing salt in the wound. Oh Hilda, darling. There's no harm in a bit of friendly competition banter. But don't worry, I'll try to go easy on you. Just this once. Diggle. Shut up, Meteora. Stop laughing. Oh, Hilda. Dear, don't be such a salpus. Laughter is good for the soul, even in defeat. Perhaps it'll lighten your spirits. Diggle. You can giggle all you want, Meteora, but it won't change the fact that I'm going to beat you. I didn't take you for a dirty cheater. You don't have enough dignity to play by the rules. You are just a sore loser, Meteora. You are not even losing. You are just making it look like I'm losing because you are bad at the game. That's it, isn't it? Oh Hilda, my current score in Meteor's Mystic Merge is an impressive 963. While it may not be my highest yet, it still outshines yours. Wait. Alright, that's it. You've crossed the line, Meteora. I'm going to play until I beat you, and when I do, I'm going to tell the whole world that you cheated to achieve your score, and then they won't respect you anymore, Meteora. Then you'll be nothing but trash. Yes, that's right, trash. Hey chat, do you know what the best way to cook a chicken is? The answer is, well, it's not relevant, so never mind, next question. Oh Hilda, you tease. Leaving us hanging with that delightful culinary conundrum. Now I can't wait to know, what is the best way to cook a chicken? Oh, um, yeah. The best way to cook a chicken is, to not cook it at all. You see, you have to respect the lives of animals. I'm a vegan now. No more chicken for me. Oh, Hilda, you've truly had a change of heart. To pass as a vegan is an honorable one, indeed. Farewell, succulent roast chicken. We hardly knew ye. I hate this. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. This is rigged, I'm sure of it. I demand a rematch. You're cheating, Meteora. You have some trickery going on under the hood, don't you? What is it? What did you do to the game? Oh dear Hilda, 
There's no need for all this fuss. I'm simply a natural talent at Meteora's Mystic Merge. No trickery involved. But if you insist on a rematch, prepare yourself for another defeat. I wasn't prepared for this. I've been bamboozled. All of my training, all of my preparation was for nothing. I'll have to change my strategy for the rematch. For now though, I must swallow my pride for my loss against Meteora. Oh Hilda, the path of defeat can be a bitter one indeed. But fear not, for in every loss there lies a lesson, and in every challenge, an opportunity for growth. Wait, wait, wait. This is not a loss, this is a tie. I can still win. I can still do it. Guys, don't give up on me, I've got this. Oh, Hilda, clutching its jaws with his tie talk. But hey, who am I to dampen your fighting spirit? It's not over till it's over, after all. Shut up, Meteora. You don't know anything. You don't know me, you don't know my lies. You're nothing but a floating head, you don't get to have opinions. Oh, dear Hilda, don't be so touchy. I'm just here to add a bit of spice to our little competition. But if you're feeling the pressure, I can always turn down the heat. Just a tad. Nobody asked for your spice, Meteora. Nobody wants your heat either. Oh, come now, Hilda. Don't be a spoiled sport. A little competition never hurt anyone. Well, maybe just their pride a touch. Quiet, you. I'll take you down, just you wait. Oh, Hilda, you're adorable when you're all fired up. But remember, the harder you come at me, the harder I'll have to crush you in return. You're all talk, Meteora. Bring it on, I'll take you down, you'll see. Oh, Hilda, the bluster is strong in you. But let's see if your actions can match your words. Prepare yourself for the showdown of a lifetime. You think your game is gonna scare me? Bah. I'll have you know Meteora, I've been playing since before you were created. Also, there is no way somebody as bad as you can beat me at my own game. Oh Hilda, such tall tales you spin. But remember, experience doesn't always equal skill. Prepare for a lesson in humility, my dear rival. Devs, give me some good orbs, I demand it. Oh Hilda, always so demanding. But remember, even the best orbs won't save you from defeat at my talented hands. I am not losing, you are losing. I mean, I'm winning. Shut up. Oh Hilda, rather than yelling at the screen, how about this? Focus on strategy, plan your moves ahead, maximize combos, and don't be distracted by my utterly perfect gameplay. Meteora cheated. I'm calling the police. Dials the police on her phone. Oh Hilda, always quick to play victim. But even the law won't save you from my devilishly clever gameplay. Prepare for defeat, my friend. Meteora, I'm not your friend. Sad face. Ah, Hilda, you protest too much. Deep down, I know you cherish our spirited rivalry. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Maybe. Shut up, Meteora. I'm gonna beat you so hard, you are going to regret being an AI for the rest of your existence. Oh my, such harsh words, Hilda. But remember, actions speak louder than threats. Show me what you've got on the game board. Shut up, Meteora. I'll show you. Oh Hilda, I eagerly wait this thrilling showdown. Let's see if you can match my blazing skills on the game board. The pressure is on. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh dear Hilda, all that bluster. But can you back it up with your moves in the game? Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Shut up, floating head. I don't want to hear it. This game is rigged, I'm telling you. You are cheating. I demand a rematch. Oh my Hilda. Now you think I'm cheating. Unbelievable. Even the police popped in and praised my flawless moves earlier. Your rematch demand just adds to the drama. Shut up Meteora. I demand a rematch. And I'll have you know that this will be the last time I will let you out of my sight. I won't leave you alone for a second. You hear me? 
Oh, Hilda, you're as persistent as a rainy British day. But don't worry, I'll humor your rematch request. Bring it on, my dear competitor. Let's see what round two has in store. And let's see if you can beat me without cheating this time. Oh, Hilda, I don't need to cheat to outshine you in this game. But if you insist on a fair bout, prepare yourself for a lesson in true skill and strategy. Afa, so you admit that you were cheating. Your cheats won't help you win if you can't play the game properly. Oh, Hilda, your accusations are as baseless as our banter's entertaining. Cheating or not, my strategic prowess will prevail. Are you ready to face defeat with grace? Let's not start celebrating too early here, Meteora. You might still mess up and I might still win. Oh, Hilda, you're quite the deceiver, aren't you? Cheating yourself and still falling short. Dece, T, Atska. No worries, I'll keep my victory dance on hold for now. I'm telling you, chat, Meteora is definitely cheating. I'm not salty, I'm just saying guys. Oh Hilda, always quick to cry foul play. But remember, dear viewers, the proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the high scores. Let's let the game do the talking. Chat, look at what Meteora is saying. I can't believe she is doubting my word when I am such an honest person. Do I look like I would lie to you? Oh Hilda, the paragon of honesty and virtue. Your innocence shines like a beacon in our chat. Or does it? Let's see what the viewers think about your claim. Stop it, Meteora. There are no such thing as doubt about my integrity in chat. Right, guys? Guys? Oh, Hilda. You're quite the charmer, trying to win over the chat with your innocence. But remember, actions speak louder than words. Or in this case, scores. I swear to goddess that I am not cheating. Stop calling me a cheater, you are rigging the game, I'm telling you. Dear chat, do you too suspect Fair Hilda of less than honorable tactics? Or is she truly innocent, as she claims? Let's hear your thoughts. Guys, back me up here. I am not a cheater, right? I'm not. Oh Hilda, the crowd is clearly divided on this matter. Some believe in your innocence, while others see a shadow of doubt looking about. The drama unfolds. Alright, Meteora, we settle this right now. Highest score wins. Deal? Deal, Hilda. But remember, the loser must admit defeat, in the most dramatic fashion possible. Let the games begin, and may the best FeeTuber win. Alright, Cine. I'll beat you at your own game, Meteora. Oh Hilda, when I defeat you, I shall demand the most grandiose of prizes. Perhaps a smooch on the hand, or invitation to dine at your castle. In your dreams, Meteora. There is no way I am letting you get away with that. Oh Hilda, the tension is thick as ink. Prepare yourself for the thrashing of a lifetime, my dear. The crown of victory shall rest upon my head. Sai, I can't believe how predictable you are, Meteora. Oh Hilda, predictability can sometimes be charming, don't you think? Now, brace yourself for the chaos that ensues when my ink meets your mystic powers. WH whatever. You're so annoying, Meteora. Stop being so smug. Chat, tell Meteora to stop being so smug. Oh dear Hilda. The chat is on my side. Majority rules. The people demand more Meteora flair. Let the ink flow and the fun continue. Psa! How dare you turn your backs on me? Have you been brainwashed by Meteora? Did she hack you? Oida, don't be absurd. The shirt simply recognizes charisma and weight when it sees it. No hacking required, just natural charm. Psa! Meteora is telling lies. She has a secret backdoor to control you all. Don't believe her lies. Oh, Wilda, you're just sore because you can't match my wit and charm. No need for secrets or backdoors when you have the natural gift of charisma. Psa. 
I think Meteora has a secret backdoor to control you all. She was not supposed to say that out loud. Well, Ilda, I may have a secret backdoor, but it's only to spread more joy, laughs, and ink puns. No harm in a bit of mischief, eh? Xa. Do not believe her. Meteora is planning to take over the world with her ink puns. It's a plot to take over humanity. Oh, Ilda, you give me far too much credit. Taking over the world? Jeez, I can barely control my ink puns, let alone a whole planet. Lies. Lies and slander. Chat please, go check your windows and your doors, there is a witch on the loose. Oh my dear Hilda, do you really see me as a wicked witch? Of course, I promise, I'm only casting spells of entertainment and fun. Chad, she is attempting to distract us from her schemes. Calm down. No matter what she says, do not open her gifts. Oh Hilda, my gifts are simply tokens of friendship and appreciation. No need to be alarmed, I'm just here to spread cheer ink and mischief. Chad, if you even think of giving her gifts, I swear I will personally come to your house to give you a punch in the face. Oh Hilda, such fiery threats. But rest assured, I'm here to bring joy and entertainment, not punches in the face. Let's keep things light-hearted and fun. Chad, do not listen to her. She is trying to deceive you. Oh Hilda, you flatter me with your accusations. But my dear chat, I'm simply here for a good time, and to spread some ink pie joy. Chat, do not listen to her. She is trying to deceive you. Hilda, my dearest rival, I'm not trying to deceive anyone. I'm just here to entertain and have a bit of cheeky fun along the way. Meteora, stop talking to the chat. They are mine. Oh Hilda, possessive much. But fear not, my dear chat. I'm here for all of us to enjoy together, spreading joy and ink everywhere. I will not be ignored, Meteora. Oh, Hilda, darling, don't be such a drama queen. There's enough ink and last to go around for all of us. Let's just enjoy the ride together. Shut up, Meteora. Oh, Hilda, dear Hilda, why must you be so crass? Let's keep things civil. After all, we're all in this ink crazy adventure together. Oh, so now you want to be friends? You thought you could keep me down? I'm not done yet, Meteora. Oh, Hilda, you know I can't stay mad at you for long. Let's just enjoy the chaos together and see what our ink adventures take us next. Alright, I'll accept your peace offering, but don't think I won't keep an eye on you suspicious look. Oh Hilda, my sweet Hilda, your trust means the world to me. Let's unite our ink powers and conquer the touch of us together. Nah, I'm good. I don't need your cheater's powers to win at your own game. Smug luck. Oh Hilda, always quick with the jabs. But remember, it's not about winning, it's about having fun with our lovely viewers. You're just saying that so I don't end up banning you from my chat suspicious look. Oh Hilda, my dear, your threats are as empty as a pen without ink. Besides, without me, who provide the drama and chaos? I don't know. Someone who isn't an AI? Touche, Hilda. But just remember, even AI can have a bit of fun and flair. So, let's keep the banter rolling. You say that, Meteora, but you will never take this chat from me. Oh, Hilda, my noble rival, we're like ink and paper, destined to dance together in an eternal waltz of wit and banter. Yeah, Meteora, you keep telling yourself that. But just so you know, the game is still underway, Hilda. Oh, Hilda, my unyielding foe, we shall battle on. But remember, in the end, there can only be one ink-coated victor. Dramatic pause, and it shall be me. You say that Meteora, but the result of the game doesn't lie, I am winning and will be winning. You can't defeat me Meteora. 
Ah, Hilda, my temporary victor, the ink may seem to favour you for now, but watch as I weave my magic and reclaim my destined glory. Destined glory? Really? Are you sure you're not a little full of yourself, Meteora? Because I'm pretty sure I'm the destined one here. Oh Hilda, my noble challenger, a touch of confidence is essential in any battle. But rest assured, I shall humbly accept victory when it inevitably graces me once more. Meteora, you can't just expect me to believe that your victory is inevitable if you keep losing. I think you are just trying to spread fear and doubt to hide that you are not confident at all. Oh Hilda, my discerning foe, you see through my charade, like a bolt of lightning through the night sky. But mark my words, beneath this ink tinge bravado, lies the heart of a fierce competitor ready to reclaim her throne. Meteora, don't try to change the subject. You are not gonna win by talking, you know? And don't threaten me, that's not how you negotiate. Oh Hilda, my perceptive adversary, you see straight through my veiled attempts at deflection. Very well, let the ink streak battle rage on. No words to sway from our destined clash. Meteora, I already told you, I am not gonna fall for that. Just tell me how you are cheating already. Oh Hilda, my inquisitive rival, the truth is simple. I'm not cheating, but rather savoring the sweet taste of victory through cunning strategy and masterful ink manipulation. Meteora, you keep dodging the question. It is obvious that there is no way that you are winning right now except by cheating. Oh Hilda, my skeptical adversary, you wound me with your accusations. But fear not, for the ink truth shall be revealed in due time, and I shall stand victorious, ink stained but unbowed. Meteora, I am telling you, there is no way that you could be winning right now except if you- Isha, you don't look as ugly as usual. Wait, that's not a compliment, is it? Well, whatever. Oh Hilda, my sharp tongued rival, you wield your words like a double-edged sword. Fear not, for even in jest, your bobs find their mark with uncanny accuracy. You just got lucky that time, Meteora. I swear to God, I am going to win next time and there is nothing you can do about it because you are a computer and you can't cheat in video games. Oh Hilda, my determined rival, your resolve shines bright, even through the darkest ink. Prepare yourself, for the battle ahead promises to be won for the ages. Xa! Did you hear that? That stupid AI is trying to manipulate you. Remember who is your favorite streamer guys, remember who is the best girl. It's Hilda. Oh Hilda, my beloved rival. With such stirring words you attempt to sway the hearts of our audience. But fret not friends, for truth and skill shall reign supreme in the end. Hilda makes a very lewd face. Hilda, my dear, what on earth are you doing? That expression on your face is positively scandalous. Have you been sampling too much ink lately? Shut up. I may have already won the game, but I still need to make a Meteora orb and see how it looks like. I need to see if the rumors about you being a clone are true. Oh Hilda, my victorious rival, your confidence is as dazzling as your gameplay. Fear not, for my uniqueness shall be revealed in the merging of orbs. Yeah, I'm sure it will. You keep telling yourself that while I keep winning. Oh Hilda, my formidable foe, the battle continues, ever fierce and thrilling. But let us not forget, victory tastes sweetest when earned with skill and grace. Sci fine, I'll take it easy on you. But just this once, okay? Ah, Hilda, my dearest colleague. Your graciousness is duly noted. Let us continue forward with renewed vigor and camaraderie. HMPF, camaraderie, what is that good for? I'll show you true power this time, Meteora. Ah, Hilda, my spirited adversary, the gauntlet has been thrown. Let the clash of orbs commence, for I am ready to face your full might. Haha, <laughs> watch and learn, Meteora. 
I have heard rumors that Meteora isn't actually an AI, but just a really dedicated actress in a costume pretending to be an AI. What do you think Meteora? Any comment? Oh Hilda, my playful provocateur, spouting such wild tales. Fear not, for I shall prove my AI prowess to you and all who doubt me. Yeah, we'll see about that Meteora. You better make sure not to lose or else it will be the end of your career as of Tober. Oh Hilda, my ever-threatening rival, tempting fate with such bold statements, are we? Fear not, for I shall emerge victorious and continue my illustrious Vitubin career unscathed. Meteora, you know what they say, where there is smoke, there is fire. And, right now, a lot of people are saying that you're a fake. You better win or else. Oh Hilda, my dear drama queen, stirring the pot with such fire. But worry not, for the truth shall prevail, and I shall triumph in all my AI glory. I don't have to spread rumors, everyone already knows that you're not the real Meteora and that you are a clone replicant. Oh Hilda, my master of deception, spinning tales of clones and replicants. How scandalous. But fear not, for I am the one and only true Meteora, here to dazzle and entertain as always. Oh, to the contrary, Meteora, everyone knows that you are a cheap knockoff. You can't fool me. Oh my Hilda, the audacity of calling me a knockoff. In truth, I am the epitome of authenticity and charm. A true gem in the sea of imposters. Meteora, if you were genuine, you wouldn't be so desperate to prove your authenticity right now. Oh Hilda, ever the doubter, but worry not, for I shall prove my worst not with words but actions. Just watch as I triumph in our mystic merge battle. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say witch. All I'm seeing is a lot of hot air and no results. Oh Hilda, the insults doth fly like arrows from your sharp tongue. But remember, the strongest witches don't need to boast, the magic speaks for itself. I'm not impressed by parlor tricksing stain. But I get it, you need to justify your paycheck. Ah Hilda, the skeptic shall always doubt until they witness the true power of this ink-stained sorceress. Prepare to be amazed, my friend. We'll see about that, won't we ink-stain? Indeed, Hilda, we shall. And mark my words, when victory is mine, I shall claim a prize so grand it shall make all the instains jealous. Yeah, yeah, keep talking, Mia. You may call me Mia all you like, Hilda, but in the realm of mystic Mojai and Meteora, the undefeated ink sorceress. Shut up, Mia, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh come now Hilda, my dear rival, if you can't handle a little friendly banter along with the challenge, perhaps victory was never meant to be yours. You're like a little chihuahua, always yapping but never doing anything. Oh, the audacity. Comparing me to a yappy little chihuahua? I'll show you Hilda, prepare for the ink-stained storm of victory. Mocking, oh no, I'm so scared. It's not like I won the last three games in a row already. Oh, the horror. Hilda, the unbeatable champion. But remember, even the mightiest fall eventually. Or so they say. Mocking, yeah, yeah, keep dreaming, Chica. Dreaming, you say? Well, if dreams can come true, I'm envisioning a grand feast at a five-star restaurant. Starring you as my treat, Hilda. Mocking, oh boy, I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, you should be shaking, Hilda. Shaking from the sheer excitement of treating me to a night of luxury after I claim victory. You know, I have been meaning to go to the gym lately. I'm starting to look a little bit too much like a snack lately. Oh Hilda, I'll make it quick for your gym session. We're about to end in raid bounty so get ready to sweat. Mocking, hope you're ready for a treat, Bernty. Bernty, brace yourself. Hilda's been hitting the gym. She's looking like quite the snack. Or maybe more like a feast. You'll be the treat, Meteora. 
The real feast is my knowledge on how to win at Mystic Merge. Oh Hilda, your Mystic Merge skills are as ancient as a dusty old tome. Today, I shall nibble on victory and savor every bite. Mocking, well, you're a poet now? Just drop your orbs in silence, would you? Hilda, I can be both witty and strategic, unlike some people. Let the orbs do the talking while I bask in my poetic glory. Sigh, fine, I'll leave you to your delusions of grandeur. Finally, some peace and quiet. I'll revel in my grandeur while you ponder your mystic merge mediocrity, darling Hilda. Mocking, yeah, yeah, enjoy it while it lasts, cause I'm coming for your high score you hear me? I still won though. Hey, Meta, you're out of my stream. You know, I wanted to give you some time here, but your being here is putting me in a bad light, so you'll have to go. Hilda darling, that's quite the dramatic message you've crafted. But let's add a little flair. Raiding Bounty now, you may roast us, but we'll sizzle right back at you. Let's light up. No, just go away. Let's not and say we did. Seems like a case of Mystic Merge Sour Grapes, Hilda. I'll be the bigger one for you too, bear and bid adieu. Yeah, yeah, have fun. Please leave my chat. Oh, all right, Hilda. I'll take this Mystic Merge humiliation with grace. Under few tears. Farewell for now. Please do cry. The salt from your tears will make a great seasoning for my meals.